Welcome to Isha Gaming. These are my top 10 Nintendo Switch games for 2020. So in 10th place, I am actually putting Two Point Hospital. It may come as a surprise to some people, but I have been loving this game ever since I first played it on the PC when it was released and it is now ported to most consoles. It is a top-down hospital simulator where you build rooms and you hire staff and you cure patients and you progress through several hospitals and you get three stars on each level. So it is a hospital simulator and it is exactly like what I grew up with that was Theme Hospital. It plays very much like that. It is an excellent simulation game, top down, where you have the control over how you want your hospitals to look and run and work. It is also very original and funny. This game has a bunch of funny diseases, so it's not like anyone has cancer or something like that. It, it's funny diseases, like mock star. You walk around as a rock star and you gotta go to psychiatry for that. With this game, I completely lose track of time. Highly recommend to Point Hospital. So that is why it's making its way into my top 10 Nintendo Switch games. If you have any questions, first ask yourself why that might be. Now on the ninth place, actually, I am going to put Xenoblade Chronicles 2 combined with Torna. They are two games built on the same engine and the same gameplay, minus a few changes to the combat when you play Torna compared to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. But as one of my first Switch games, I actually already feel nostalgia towards Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And I remember I loved this game when I got it. It is a massive fantasy RPG where you play as a cloud sea salvager. So, you know, in this world you live on big creatures and there is a huge cloud sea. That is the world that you play in. You meet a bunch of people and some people even joins your party and you fight in cooldown based battles. This game is really big. Easily it can take you 80, 100 hours and it's a really long game, really long game. Uh, so you may actually get gamer fatigue from this game, that is actually how big it is. So like I said, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Torna, they're two games. They're both good. You can check out my really old video, my review video of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 if you want to. Link in description. In place number 8, we have Super Mario Odyssey. I had to think long and hard about this top 10 list and this is what I ended up with and it felt correct for me. So, not really personal list, definitely. Super Mario Odyssey is like the king of 3D platforming. So this game is also massive. A bunch of colorful and fantastic worlds that you fly around on with your flying machine. Just fantastic 3D worlds to explore and collect moons in. A whole bunch of moons. This is a fantastic 3D platformer. It is the king of 3D platformers, absolutely. This game truly shows the good old Nintendo magic and simply makes you happy by playing it. It has a great variation in the levels. It's such a cozy family game. It's very good. Also very good to play alone and when you are an adult. So yeah, definitely Super Mario Odyssey. An excellent title. Now in place number seven, we have Nino Kuni, an older game that is ported to the Switch, but it is one of the best games, um, RPG-wise, cel-shaded anime-style RPG games on the Switch, uh, in my opinion. You have probably seen my review of this, and if you haven't, the link to that will be in the description. It is a good old traditional adventure RPG with Oliver and his friends on a quest to save his mother. It's a very touching story and this game has awesome graphics. I love the graphics in Nino Kuni. They are so colorful and crisp. It's like a huge fairy tale. It has a big map and you can fly your dragon around on this map or sail by ship. And you can also collect the 400 familiars in this game. They are like Pokemon-like creatures that you fight with. Highly recommend Nino Kuni. <laughs> now at number six, I am putting Fire Emblem Warriors. 
actually one of my first games for the Nintendo Switch, this one also. And it made an impact on me. It is a hack and slashy Muso game in the Fire Emblem universe. And you play as the Royal Twins. I fell in love with the gameplay in this one and the story has many surprising twists and turns. I was absolutely addicted to this game and it is better than Hyrule Warriors in my opinion. And the reason for that is in the gameplay of Hyrule Warriors sometimes the fast combat comes to a halt when you have to fight Dodongos. And that was so annoying in the long run. And when you are playing a fast-paced hack and slash Muso game, you don't want the speed and the flow of the game to come to a halt often. So I prefer this game. It is the best Muso game on the Switch. On my fifth place is uh, actually my time at Porsche. Another game I fell head over heels in love with and it is a 3D life simulator where you can do whatever you want actually. Whether that be crafting, exploring, racing livestock, fighting, mining or bonding with the townspeople. You should watch my review of this game as well, link in the description. And it is a life simulator. It is a genre that you can probably lose track of time in, but the Switch version has some lags and some struggles. So if you can play this game on the PC, I want to say, play it on the PC. It will be much more of a smoother experience, but if you don't have that option, um, the Switch version is okay. Either way, I recommend this game. In fourth place, Dragon's Dogma. I always think very fondly back on Dragon's Dogma. This is a fantasy open world RPG with dragons and magic. Exactly what I like. The controls are tight. The world and atmosphere is awesome and the combat is just sick good. I did a review of this game as well. Highly recommend this review. And if you think this game looks good and interesting, Watch my review of it. I go into super hardcore details in most of my reviews. I hope I do so anyway, that I'm helpful. That my reviews are helpful, I mean. Okay, so in third place, Animal Crossing. It is a game unlike any other. The charm of Animal Crossing is hard to explain to someone who has never experienced it for themselves. It's basically a life sim where you live on an island and slowly expand your house and the town. You have a bunch of neighbors that you live with on this island. It is a life that you are having and you can collect a bunch of furniture to you know decorate your house and there's also crafting in this game and it has multiplayer online multiplayer it's really good a bit long loading screens um, but really good I have played Animal Crossing for over 100 hours and that is for good reason it is it's an excellent game well done Nintendo now in second place I gotta say, Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I'm gonna tell you my personal take on this game. This game could just as well be a shared first place, that is how good it is, with what I have on first place. This is my absolutely first Nintendo Switch game, and I hope it is your first Switch game as well. And I will just love it forever because it changed me in a way. My time with this game was nothing but magical for my entire time spent in this vast open world. My favorite gaming series of all time as a whole is The Legend of Zelda. But Breath of the Wild truly branched out the series while still remaining true to the series' legacy. This time with the biggest open world Link has ever traversed in, and it is open, open world, super big open world. It is a time sink where 200 hours easily go by with never a dull moment. It is a game that will be remembered forever. It's truly special, truly special. Now it may not come as a surprise, but my first place is Skyrim. It just is Skyrim. And I thought long and hard about this, it just is. 
I am putting Skyrim at my number one because I have a true and everlasting love story with it. It is the game I always return to. It is the game that always amazes me and each and every time I sit down with it, I discover something new, even when I thought I had seen it all. It is the game I am drawn to, to the point of repurchasing it for my sixth time. That truly tells us something about this game and the longevity and the replayability because it truly has replayability. And for every single time I am buying this game again, I end up playing it 150 hours each save file. It is an open world fantasy RPG heavily focused on freedom to the player. And I love that. Be whoever you want, go wherever you want. The soundtrack gives me chills, for real. It makes me so emotional, I could cry. The soundtrack is really emotional. This entire game is really emotional for me. So I'm just head over heels in love with Skyrim. It, it did something special and it is sort of rare to come by that sort of specialness. <laughs> so finally I made my official 2020 top 10 Nintendo Switch games. And I wanna hear what the best games you have played actually are. So leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And you know, just read the description box. Everything is down there. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you later.